Hello multi, multi-alternative multiverses. Good one. Great little mot mention that from Sashi D or Sashi De. Thank you, Sashi. Uh, this is Ralphie Review 917 Extras, in which I talk about extra things over and above single malt and other quality spirits reviews that I do when it's just the round number. And my last review was of Tom and Tool 14 year old integrity bottling. Very interesting, actually. And I gave it a reasonable, competent malt marker. I did. I think I was fair on it. And that was Ralphie Review 917. Well, this is the extras now. This is where I discuss and deliver a little bit of observations, informations and infotainment over and above singular reviews. And I kind of get a little bit more generalist. And I was in the supermarket a few days ago. Uh, I don't normally go to this UK supermarket because I find that the atmosphere when you're shopping there is very stale. No, that's not quite the right word. How about bland? Yeah, that would, that would cover it. How about I conclude with saying that it's just awful? Um, and it's called Tesco. I very rarely shop there. But I did pop in to take a to take a photograph actually um, of the whiskies that are on sale because supermarket sales of whiskey are a really good barometer as to what consumers, passive consumers, are buying and how much they're paying for it. And I noticed that any whiskey with a big name. Um, is being marked up significantly and any whiskey which is perfectly good if not better that hasn't got such a, vis a visible name brand name um, is more likely to be reasonably priced reasonably priced or even discounted and as I was perusing I came across well obviously I'm wandering from the single malt shelves into the blended shelves so the single malts are put high up in the shelves so they're elevated. They are nearer to heaven, malt mates. And you've got to look up and see the high price tags and say, well, if it's up at the top of the shelf, it's superior. Ooh, how very British. To the whiskies down at the bottom of the shelf, where you have to bend down to pick them up. Oh, no, no, I just reach up and lift down the, the cherished, the elite, the desirable, the, um, what's that word that they use? It's not, it's not in demand. It's acquisitional. Yeah, have you heard this? Oh, the play of words. There's a lot of magic in the use of words, by the way. Always be aware of that. Whenever you see the same phrase or words repeated three times, you're at the beginning or the end of something occult. Right, just so as you know. Anyway, there's nothing from the occult to the spiritual. Have you seen this? Let's get down to business. <laughs> this is what you've come for, to see what I think of this. This is White Mackay Spirit Drink. <laughs> Whoever thought the day would arrive when Ralphie would be talking about a spirit drink. Now, to explain, White Mackay are makers of Pretty standard, but full flavoured, all credit to them. Great for cocktails and mixing. Blended whiskey. And uh, this is White Mackay's Light, L-I-G-H-T, nice and red so you don't miss it, spirit drink. And it's a lighter spirit drink from Scotland, bottled at 21.5%. And you can buy it in Tesco in the UK for £10.50. 50 a bottle less than half the price of some blends and most single malts what's not to like let's open this up and read you a wee bit off the black label once of back back label don't want to mix the brands up here i'll pour a little bit extra seeing as there's less of it <laughs> white and mackay light a lighter spirit drink from Scotland, made from Scotch whisky married with sherry. Ooh. White Mackay, you got me there. You got me there. C 
crafted by the expert distillers. <laughs> <laughs> they took whiskey and diluted it with water, but they crafted it. Don't don't you forget that now. Know your place, consumer. Where's <laughs> me steampunker? I can't see this label for laughing. But hey, I'm not quite, I'm not laughing at it. I'm laughing with it. Because this bottle's got a great sense of humour. Crafted by the expert distillers at White and Mackay, the spirit drink has been enriched by sweet sherry casks and freshly emptied bourbon barrels. It tastes great. Smooth and subtle hint of smoke. Or sorry, smooth with, clean my steampunker, with a subtle hint of smoke. Perfect straight, over ice, or with your favourite mixer. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. And um, you can buy it in Spain, just as you know, because there's a bit of Spanish here. Uh, apart from that, it says know your limits. And uh, the UK chief medical officers recommend that adults do not regularly drink more than 14 units a week. And I have to say, I think that's sound advice. I don't always follow that advice, but some weeks I most certainly do. In case you're a little bit lazy to read the label. They've got a nice little cardboard collar that repeats some of the information on the label. And what they've done, in my opinion, it's my opinion, I mean, I could have asked White and Mackay what they did. I could have got a nice marketing reply, uh, probably to do with hand-picked, selected, bespoke, and all the rest of it. But I'd rather just give you my take on it and you take of it what you wish. But um, smell, very pleasant. It's simply whiskey diluted by about 50%. And this is quite important because when you look at the price, £10.50, someone who's maybe in to buy a Bacardi Breezer or a Cherry Sours or a Bourbon Bomb Blaster something mixer drink or perhaps even some a can of dragon super monster you know that generation and i'm i'm just giving you a perspective and um they're saying oh that's cheap and it looks like whiskey and i don't like whiskey because i prefer my bacardi breezers and my mango slushies and melon mega bombs with the bright colours that when you switch the light out, they glow in the dark. That sort of stuff. So they buy, might buy, buy a bottle of this because it's not as expensive as that whiskey and they smell it. And they taste it. And it's really quite pleasant. In fact, it's really not that bad at all. For a dilute whiskey, for the amount of dilution that's taken place, it's got... I have to say, I've had worse whiskies than this. It's nothing much in the finish, because it's been heavily diluted. But what they've done is they've taken the whiskey, cut it with water significantly, and then they've given that little bit extra sherry and bourbon influence in their own secret recipe, however they do it. And it works. For £10.50 a bottle, you're getting a very decent, palatable, Great little mixing, shoot style drink where you can bang the glass in the bar and knock it back in a winner and you won't start choking. So for for very for young drinkers who are inexperienced in drinking in drinking and don't mind making a fool of themselves, it's in bars. Um, it's it's going to actually be quite a civil, actually quite an impressive option to some of the other dreadful concoctions that are paying very good money for. I was at a restaurant earlier in the year and the people next to me in the restaurant were buying cocktails and the price they were paying for what they were getting. I couldn't laugh on the outside but I was pishing my pants laughing on the inside. Honest, honestly, 
Once people have had a few drinks, they can become very, very gullible as regards price of things, particularly when they're using the card and just doing a wee swipey swipey. What's the actual taste of this? Malty, sherryish, semi sweet, lightly sweet, not imposing. It's got that white Mackay note to it, and I have to say that the casks involved in this are actually pretty decent by modern standards. Um, I'm surprised. But there you go, there you go, you shouldn't be prejudgmental about things. And the reason they can sell this, I'd want to say this at the moment just to get out of the way in case I forget. The reason they can sell this for £10.50 a bottle is because excise duty, tax, pure tax, is based on the volume of alcohol in the bottle. So by reducing the volume of alcohol, they've virtually halved their tax thresh, tax demand from £8.40 or whatever it is for a standard bottle to for about £4.20, £4.30. And that, by the way, is, is a huge difference as regards profit, making a reasonable profit out of the drink for the distillers and helping them um, put this in the market at what is a very competitive price. And I commend White and Mackay for it, you know. Hey, I'm impressed. But um, it really tastes like a decent blend to which you've added about 50% water and then you've let it rest so it no longer tastes diluted. It tastes diluted, married, and it's what you call blender strength roughly because blenders, when they're nosing and tasting whiskies, they need to get to the core of them. What they're, what they're dealing with very, very quickly. So they put a lot of, lot of water in to really bring the, to, to tone down the alcoholic nip and distraction to get at the core flavors that are being knocked off by the alcohol. So many blenders will be nosing and tasting at roughly 20% alcohol anyway. Um, and if you're adding ice, hey, this is what you're gonna get from your whiskey. Sure, it may have a little bit more flavour, but that's being compromised by the coldness of the ice, um, cooling the drink and killing the flavour. This is why a lot of white wines are served chilled, because if you had them at room temperature, they would taste horrible. All that acidity. You know it's true. One more tasty. If you were introducing a young person to whiskey and you didn't want to frighten them, you could give them a glass of this and you could not go wrong. Clean, fresh, flavoursome. Sure, it's loaded with caramel, but it's a blend. It's a spirit drink blend, which is absolutely fine. So I'm not on my high horse for this one. It's fun. I'm glad I bought it. It's been a good hoot. Up the lane. And I don't see many people even going out their way to, to review this in any way. Um, but I am. And um, as a, a seasoned old single malt drinking hack that tends to go for single cask, single malts presented with integrity, strength and delivery. Um, if I was to give this a spirit drink mark out of 100, I'd give it a good solid 85. Simple as that. Hey, I'm Ralphie in the Bothy. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, subscribe, click like and check out my Patreon channel. Ralphie over at patreon.com where you get additional content. And I've just conducted a poll over my channel. Uh, quite an extensive list of questions to generate conversation for the additional videos that I do for my Patreon supporters. There you go. That don't get generally released. Thanks for watching now. See you soon, Maltmates. Look after yourselves.